What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient Minecraft Bedrock and other portal block farm. This farm works on 1.17 and all other recent versions of Minecraft Bedrock, whether you play on a phone, tablet, Xbox, PlayStation, and a Switch, or PC. This farm will give you a bunch of portal blocks. These blocks can be used to transport yourself or mobs to and from the nether. They can also be a cool thing to have in builds. For this farm, all you'll need is one Minecraft hopper, two rails, two sticky pistons, one snow block, two levers, one hopper, 14 obsidian, two trap doors, you guys can use any type of wooden trap that you want, four observers, one lava bucket, one water bucket, one dispenser, one redstone repeater, four redstone, two redstone torches, two chests, and finally about a stack of saw blocks. You guys can use any type of saw block that you want except for saw blocks that burn. A couple examples of saw blocks that don't burn include cobblestone or stone. The first step is to take some obsidian, then place down four. One, two, three, four. Now place four obsidian over here. One, two, three, four. Then I place three over here. One, two, three. Finally, place three over here. One, two, three. By placing the obsidian in that formation, you should be able to create another portal. The next step is to come over here. Then place three blocks. One, two, three. Now place a sticky piston at the spot. Make sure that sticky piston is facing upwards. Then place an observer over here. Make sure the top area of that observer is facing this way. Then turn to this direction. Now place another observer over here. Make sure the top area of that observer is facing that way. That observer will create a redstone clock which will power the dispenser. The next step is to place your lever over here. Then flick it down. That will shut off the redstone clock. Now come over here. Then place a the dispenser at the spot. Make sure the dispenser is facing this way. After you place that dispenser, open it. Now place your water bucket inside of it. That water will break the nether portal. Now break this block. That hole is where the water will go into. The next step is to come over to this spot. Now place a block over here. Then place a sticky piston at the spot. Make sure that sticky piston is facing this way. Now place a snow block in front of the sticky piston. That sticky piston will move the snow block back and forth which will allow you guys to have the chance to get another portal block. The next step is to place two blocks over here, block of this spot, and block over here. Now break this block. After you have created that shape, place your lever over here, resonant torch at this spot, and a resonant repeater over here. Make sure the two prongs of that resonant repeater are facing that way. Now place the redstone at the spot. As you guys can see here, that should create a redstone clock. Once you guys have created that redstone clock, flick this lever down to shut it off. That redstone clock will power the sticky piston. The next step is to place three blocks over here, and one over here. Now place the redstone torch at the spot. Then place three redstone over here. One, two, three. That redstone will connect the redstone signal from the redstone clock all the way over to the sticky piston. The next step is to come back to the front. Now break these two blocks. Then break these two blocks and these two as well. Now place two chests over here. Then crouch down and place a hopper at the spot. Make sure that hopper is falling towards the chest. You guys can tell the hopper is falling towards the chest because as you guys can see there, the nozzle it should be facing that way. That hopper will collect another port of blocks from the minecart with hopper and fill it into the collection's chest. Once you guys are done creating that system, come up here. Now place a block at this spot. Then place two rails over here. One, two. Those rails should be facing that direction. Now place a minecart with hopper over here. Then push it that way. As you guys can see there, the minecart with hopper should go inside that obsidian block. Once it is in there, break these two rails. Then break this block. That minecart with hopper will collect all the other portal blocks that drop over here. The next step is to place five blocks over here. One, two, three, four, five. Now place a block over this spot and a block over here. This spot will be where you stand whenever you use the farm. After you guys have done that, come to the back. Then place four blocks over here. Now turn over this direction. Then place an observer over here. Make sure the top area of that observer is facing this way. Then turn over this direction. Now place another observer over here. Make sure the top area of that observer is facing this way. Now place two blocks over here, three over here, and one at the spot. Now place three blocks over here, three over here, and two over here. Then create another layer of blocks on top of that. Then place two blocks over here. After you're done with that step, come over here. Then place a trap door over here and a trap door at the spot. Now open them. Then place lava at the spot. That lava should flow just like that. That will be the trap door igniter system of this farm. How it works is the observers will update the lava so that they constantly ignite the trap doors. Those trap doors will then ignite the nether portal. Whenever the nether portal breaks, it will be constantly lit again because of the trap door igniter system. I am now going to do a quick flower round so you guys can check and make sure you've made this farm correctly. In front, you guys have this nether portal. Down there, you guys should have that collection system. This side of your farm should be looking like this. It should have this observer for a stone clock. 
the back should have a dispenser and sticky piston. Up here, there should be the trapdoor igniter system. Finally, this side should have this restroom clock. How's farm works is you guys can first figure that lever up. That will activate the observer redstone clock, which will cause that dispenser to constantly dispense and suck up water. Every time the water is dispensed, another portal will break. As soon as another portal breaks, it will then get lit again because of the trapdoor igniter system. You guys can then flick this lever up. That will activate that redstone clock, which will cause that sticky piston to move that snow block back and forth. After doing that, you guys can stand over here, then hold the shovel that is enchanted with silk touch. Then you can end up this spot and hold down whatever button is in your device to mine blocks. By the way, you need to be in survival mode when using this farm. You should eventually be able to get nether portal blocks. All the nether portal blocks will be collected by the Minecraft hopper, funnel into that hopper, and funnel into the collection's chest. Whenever you're done using the farm, you can flip both the letters back down. I am now going to show you how to use this farm. To use it, first hold the shovel that is enchanted with silk touch, then stand over here. Now aim your crosshair at the spot. It should be at the level that is somewhere near the middle of that obsidian block. Half of your crosshair should be on the obsidian, and the other half should be on the nether portal. By the way, if you don't have a crosshair, you guys can go into your settings, then turn on split controls. This is the spot you need to aim at when using the farm. Now flick this lever up, then flick this lever up as well. Now aim back at that spot. Then hold down whatever button is on your device to mine blocks. You should eventually be able to get another portal blocks. You guys can tell you're getting another portal blocks because you'll see the particles show up like that. This farm is a great quick and easy way to get to another portal blocks. If this farm does not work for you, then make sure you aim at the right spot. By the way, zombie piglins might occasionally spawn through the nether portal. If that happens, they might suffocate in the blocks or might get out of the nether portal. If they get out of the nether portal, I recommend you kill them. By the way, if they travel through the nether portal, they will go into the nether. They will then be at the spot where this nether portal leads to in the nether. If you guys don't want zombie piglins to spawn, you guys can switch your game to peaceful. You can then switch it back to whatever difficulty you were on before after you're done using it. Whenever you're done using this farm, all you guys need to do is flick this lever down, then flick this lever down as well. To collect the nether portal blocks, all you guys need to do is open this chest. They'll all be in here. By the way, if you guys want the nether portal to be deactivated whenever you're not using the farm, you guys can flick this lever up, then flick it back down. If the nether portal is still on, try flicking it up and down again. As you guys can see there, you should eventually be able to get to the water to be dispensed so the nether portal is not on. I am now going to show y'all what it looks like when nether portal blocks are placed down. As you guys can see here, they look like that. If you guys want to get rid of another portal block, you guys can place a block next to it. As you guys can see there, it will then disappear. This is what happens when you walk into another portal block. As you guys can see here, you will be teleported to the nether. This is what happens when you go through another portal block in the nether. As you guys can see here, we get transported back to the overworld. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient Minecraft Bedrock Nether Portal Farm. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for what I should do in future videos. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out more of the Minecraft videos. I upload every day. Thanks for watching!